Ambrose Perez on Monsters and Marvels delves into the intricate relationship between natural anomalies, monstrous births, and the societal perceptions of these phenomena during the Renaissance period. Written in the 16th century, Perez's work reflects the prevailing scientific and philosophical beliefs of the time, exploring the enigmatic nature of anomalies and their implications for both science and society. One of the central themes in Perez's treatise is the interpretation of anomalies. He distinguishes between natural anomalies, which he attributes to natural causes and the imperfections of nature, and those attributed to supernatural origins. Pair challenges prevailing superstitions and religious beliefs that often associated anomalies with divine punishment or supernatural forces. Instead, he advocates for a more empirical understanding, emphasizing the role of nature and natural causes in the occurrence of these phenomena. Moreover, Perez's work is deeply rooted in the context of his time, reflecting the prevailing cultural and scientific paradigms of the Renaissance. During this period, there was a burgeoning interest in natural philosophy and the study of the natural world. Per himself was a pioneering figure in the field of surgery and medicine, advocating for empirical observation and experimentation. On Monsters and Marvels reflects this scientific curiosity, as Per meticulously describes various anomalies and attempts to provide rational explanations for their occurrence. Perez's treatise also explores the societal implications of anomalies. He acknowledges the fear and fascination that these anomalies evoke in people and discusses their social and cultural significance. Monstrous births, in particular, were often seen as signs of divine displeasure or impending doom. Per attempts to dispel such notions, attributing these anomalies to natural causes rather than supernatural intervention. By doing so, he challenges the prevailing superstitions and encourages a more rational understanding of these phenomena. Furthermore, On Monsters and Marvels serves as a commentary on human perception and the tendency to label the unknown as monstrous or unnatural. Pear highlights the subjective nature of perception, emphasizing how cultural and societal beliefs shape our interpretation of anomalies. He urges readers to approach these anomalies with an open mind and to seek rational explanations based on observation and empirical evidence. In addition to his scientific observations, Per incorporates anecdotes and stories of anomalies, adding a narrative element to his treatise. These anecdotes serve to both captivate the reader's interest and illustrate the diversity of anomalies that he encountered or heard about during his time. Through these anecdotes, Per humanizes the subjects of his study, reminding readers of the individuals behind these anomalies and the need for empathy and understanding. Overall, On Monsters and Marvels, by Ambrose Pear transcends mere scientific observation. It serves as a reflection of the cultural, scientific, and philosophical milieu of the Renaissance period. Pear's treatise challenges superstitions, advocates for empirical understanding, and prompts readers to reconsider their perceptions of anomalies. It remains a significant historical document that not only sheds light on the scientific inquiries of the past but also invites contemplation on the nature of human perception and the unknown.